Cancer. I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you. This will be for the last half of July going into August and we'll find out what you need to know. It's going to be a general reading so not everything will resonate with you. What's happening with Cancer? Okay, Cancer, so we're starting out here with the Hermit card. This is Virgo energy. You may be spending some time alone right now looking within for answers. Kind of fighting an inner battle about some type of heavy burden that you need to drop. There's something that you're carrying around here that you need to drop. I'm going to go back and clarify these cards after I get everything laid out. What's happening with Cancer? Okay. There could be blocked communication with someone, or you could just be feeling left out in the cold in some way. And I'm seeing you entering into a brand new beautiful cycle. It's like whatever this burden is you've been carrying around, um, and the feeling of being left out in the cold, it's coming to an end. There's a cycle completely ending in your life. and. The world card is great. It's like you're entering into a beautiful new cycle. There's something really beautiful that's coming in for you. What's happening with Cancer? Okay, so we have the Four of Cups and we have the Knight of Cups. Like, um, we'll clarify the cards, but somebody here is refusing an offer. Some type of an emotional offer is being refused here in the Four of Cups energy. And see, someone's trying to hand this person... A cup. This is an emotional cup of love and they're not acknowledging it. They're not looking at it. This could be you not looking at it and not wanting it. Because I have the Knight of Cups here. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Someone coming with an emotional cup of love. And then I see it being denied here. Because I feel like you are really guarded and defensive, trying to defend yourself. You can flip these energies around, how they put it, how it fits. What's happening with Cancer? Three of Swords. Ace of Wands, Page of Swords. There was a painful ending. I have the Three of Swords, so I'm seeing a very painful ending here in the Three of Swords. This is like something you can physically feel. It's painful. But I feel like someone's watching you and I'm seeing a new passionate beginning coming in for you with the Ace of Wands.
Okay, so we have Scorpio energy, Aquarius energy, and Leo energy. Three major arcana coming out next. I'm seeing there was an ending with the Death card and the Three of Swords. There was a painful ending here. But I feel like you could be wanting to heal a connection here with someone. And you're trying to have courage and strength to do it. I feel like there could be an ending, but there could be a rebirth coming in. What's happening with cancer? Okay, so we have Libra energy with the Justice card. There's some type of truth there's that's going to be coming in. Like, something's going to be made right here. I feel like you were done wrong in some way. And I see the scales being balanced and things being fair. Like, um, the universe stepping in and making things fairer. Because I see you here feeling blindfolded and unable to make a decision. But with justice here, the blindfolds will come off. You'll be able to see clearly and make a decision. Okay, so let's go back and clarify the cards. Why is the hermit here? telling me that you're single and you could be dealing with an Aries here but I'm seeing that you're very in control of everything and single taking care of everything that you need to take care of why is the five of wands here Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. There's something here that you're trying to heal over with the Four of Swords energy. Where there could be some confusion around it. And so I'm seeing you fighting an inner battle. There's something here that's not clear. But I'm seeing you dropping this burden with the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Sun and the Seven of Pentacles. Something that you've been waiting for is coming in for you. I have Leo, Leo energy again with the Sun. The Sun is coming in. It illuminates everything so that you can see clearly to be able to take off a blindfold and see everything clearly. And it's the happiest card in the tarot deck. There's a lot of happiness coming in for you. There's something that you've been waiting for that is coming that's going to allow you to drop a heavy burden. Okay, so let's figure out what's going on with this Five of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like somebody here was being a player with the Knight of Wands energy. It's like someone was being sneaky here. They were being a player. And so I feel like you cut this person off. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But you could have used your sword and cut this person off because you knew they were lying to you. And there's like blocked communication now. Why is the world here? Two 
two of wands, the devil and the fool. I see you like closing out this cycle with someone and taking a leap of faith, starting something new. It's like you're you're ready to close the cycle with whoever this person is and take a leap of faith into something new. And so I'm seeing you like you this is your energy right here with the two of wands. Let me see if you can see the cards. It's like you have your back turned to the devil energy. There was someone here who could have had addictions or something. Um, this could be a Capricorn energy too. But I feel like this is someone that put you in a three-party situation. And I'm seeing you ending this cycle, closing it out. It's like you have the world in your hands. You're standing at a crossroads and choosing a brand new path taking a leap of faith towards something new why is the knight of cups here the high priestess and the magician and the king of swords I feel like you've made a decision, Cancer. This is someone who's made up their mind, made a decision that um, I feel like there's something here that you're manifesting. You're coming in as the High Priestess, too. <clears throat> you're using your intuition and <clears throat> there's like something here that you're manifesting that I feel like you're working on, you're studying. And I'm seeing it coming in for you. It's like you're defending it, guarding it. And someone's, someone could be rushing in here, offering you their love. And you know what it is. And I see you refusing it, not accepting it. It's like right now you're you're working on yourself and so your whole focus I feel like is going to be leading this person that caused this heartbreak I have the king of pentacles and I have temperance and I'm seeing you defending this energy you're defending it and what you're defending the king of pentacles is can be um Someone who owns their own business, their money, something they care about here. I see you defending it. And it's like you're working on it here. It's something that you love and you're working on it and it's yours. And I see you defending it. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius here too. But it's like... Something, you're mixing these two cups together, coming up with a perfect blend of something. Yeah, to clarify, the Three of Swords, we have the Three of Cups, which is a three-party situation. Three parties here that is causing a tower, like a shocking change. Because something was not built on a stable foundation. Why is the Page of Swords here? Sorry about Mystic. She's in heat and I need to get her fixed. Okay, so someone's watching you. It's like they, they could be watching your social media or something. This is the person that put you in a three-party situation. 
And I feel like you have a lot of love for them. I feel like there will be an emotional offer of love coming towards you from this person. I feel like they will be back. Why is the Ace of Wands here? They're going to be back asking, wanting this Ace of Wands with you. They have a lot of passion for you and they're going to want a new beginning with you. And so you'll be left with a choice, a decision. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Two of Cups, a decision about this connection. And I see, I see an ending here, but let's clarify it. See what's on the bottom of the deck. I have an ending and I have you moving into calmer water away from it. Because I'm not really getting too good of an energy from this devil card right here. So I think you're looking at it from all different perspectives, points of view here. You're looking at it for what it is. What's happening with cancer? <laughs> Okay, one more. You could be dealing with any sign here, Cancer. I have all the signs here. Why is the death card here? Some type of information being found out. What this information is, is someone was in their ego looking at other options. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Why is the star here? Someone wants a reconciliation here. They're coming in as a page of wands. But you're coming in as the queen of cups. And it's like this energy does not match up. It's like someone's showing up here as a page. And I feel like you do love this person. But I, I see you letting it go. Because the energy doesn't match up here. Why is the Queen of Cups here? I feel like you're looking for strength to let it go. Because I feel like this is someone that you love. We have the star again. It's like I'm seeing you healing. This is healing over this connection. Because I feel like you know you're dealing with a page. They could be younger than you. They don't have to be. They could just be not at your energy level. They're kind of like immature thinking. So I'm seeing you healing and defending yourself from like um, this person could try to argue with you or just immature thinking with this person where it's it's somebody who it's not worth arguing with because they're they're not even getting it why is the strength card here the moon cancer pisces scorpio energy this was a committed relationship. And I do feel like you love this person. You could have been married to this person. But this person was keeping secrets. They were either lying, cheating, stealing, or withholding information from you.
and there's to clarify justice i have justice here there's some type of truth coming in i'm seeing you one way or another you, your justice is coming in it's like things are going to be made right whatever you were wronged here i'm seeing it being made right because i see there was a huge betrayal ten swords in the back is a lot of pain someone's someone like did this over time to you one sword at a time and it's like until it ended until there was an ending here but i still see that you love this person with the king of cups you do have love for this person and I feel like this person loves you too, but they're just immature. They're showing up here as a page. And I want to find out why this is here, because this is somebody waiting. So I don't know how to put this into this equation here. Waiting to make a decision, because we have the two of swords there. This could be um, someone who's been gone for a while. Okay, let me, um, why is the Five of Swords here? This is someone in their ego. With the Five of Swords energy. Yeah, I have the Emperor. Someone controlling and in their ego. Mystic. And there's blocked communication with this person. I feel like you're not communicating with them. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Let's find out why. Temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. Um, it's like they're telling you to be patient. I see your justice. I see truth coming in. This means patience. And I feel like you've been like waiting for your truth and your justice for a long time why is the two of swords here because someone's coming with truth someone's showing up here with with truth in the knight of swords energy and this person may be kind of cold with their words because they're like immature why is the knight of swords here they're in their ego i feel like um i'm seeing them come rushing in here like with a message not thinking about what they say before they say it and so i'm seeing you showing up here looking at things differently now after this person comes in and they're cold like they like they're coming in i feel like you're going to instantly instantly feel differently you're going to see things for what they really are you're going to make a decision. You're going to look at it and make a decision right then and there. And you're going to see it for what it is. Let me just get one more card. What is this decision? Three of Wands. <laughs> your decision is to turn your back on this person. And... Now you're waiting for another ship to come in. 
you're letting this go, waiting for another ship to come in. Yeah, they're, they're saying this was just a heavy burden and it was not built on a stable foundation and I feel like a part of you is holding on to it until this person comes back again and then it's like a tower. It's like you're going to instantly like be reminded be reminded of how they're in their ego and immature how they were. And I see an ending here. Okay, so let me just get you a Moonology card. What's happening with Cancer? Expect powerful change. Something powerful is coming into your life. There's going to be something great coming into your life. Surrender to the divine. Let's get one more. And the energy is gaining momentum. So something is starting to pick up energy. It's starting to come in quickly for you. And they say you are good enough. You are. I just want to see what happens if I... Put a card on expect powerful change. Look at what happens. Powerful change. The wheel of fortune comes out. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, Cancer. Something great is coming in for you. And I feel like you don't even realize how big it's going to be. There's something here that you're very, very passionate about. There's a new beginning starting here. And it's like the angels are behind you working on this. Like working on this for you. They're telling you to be patient. There, There's like a plan for you. I see you getting your justice. And this is a great celebration with the Four of Wands. This could have something to do with um, your home or a marriage. This is something like a huge life event coming in for you. That's why we have the Wheel of Fortune right here. And expect powerful chains, change. This is something that is coming in for you that you can look forward to it's like written in the stars this is for you so these are the messages that i have for you cancer i hope they help and i i do hope they help you see the bigger picture and um thank you so much for liking and subscribing and i send you lots of love and light cancer Bye bye